What's up everybody, it's Mike from A3 Academy, and today's topic is sound intensity. Let's get right to it. One of the more common aspects of sound that we come across every day is loudness. But the problem with loudness is that every human perceives it differently. Someone who is hard of hearing might hear a different loudness for a specific sound than I will. So loudness isn't very useful to us. But what we can use is something related to loudness called intensity. And sound intensity is defined as the energy transported by a sound wave per a unit of time across a unit area that is perpendicular to the energy flow. Expressing this in SI units, energy is joules, time is seconds, and area is meters squared. And we also know that joules per second is watts, so the units for intensity are simply watts per meter squared. But those are the units. How do we actually measure intensity and how do we use it? Well, there's something called a bell, which was named after Alexander Graham Bell. And those are the scale of what we call sound level. We actually more commonly use decibels, which are one-tenth of a bell. But the sound level, or beta, measured in decibels, is equal to 10 times the log of the sound intensity over I0. And I0 is just a chosen reference level which is usually taken to be the minimum intensity audible to a normal human ear, or around 1.0 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. It's important to note that uh, sound level is on a logarithmic scale, and this is because humans have a pretty wide range of intensity that we can hear, ranging from 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared to 1 watt per meter squared or even more, but more is usually painful. Now, since we usually use I0 as 10 to the minus 12, we can simply plug it in and use the equation like that. Let's look at an example. What is the intensity of sound at a runway if the sound level of a jet plane is 140 decibels? Well, we have our equation, but we actually need to find I, so we need to rearrange this. What we can do is divide both sides by 10, and then to get rid of the logarithm, which is base 10, we raise 10 to the power of each side, and that will give us 10 to the beta over 10 is equal to i over i0, and now we just multiply both sides by i0, and we get that the intensity is equal to i0 times 10 to the beta over 10. Now we can just plug things in. We have I0, which is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. And beta is 140, as given by the problem. 140 over 10 is 14. And now we can do this in our heads, or we can use a calculator to get that the intensity is 1.0 times 10 to the second watts per meter squared, also known as 100 watts per meter squared. That's pretty straightforward. Another thing you need to know is that intensity generally decreases the farther away you get from a sound source. Uh, this effect is reduced when you're in a room because the sound reflects off the walls, but for a source that's radiating freely in all directions, this is generally true. So the intensity is inversely proportional to the distance squared. Let's take a look at what that means in the context of our problem. 140 decibels is the sound level measured 25 meters away from the jet plane. Now, what if the sound level is measured 250 meters away? What would it be then? Well, we can use the answer from the previous problem, which is that the intensity is 100 watts per meter squared. And we know that the distance changes from 25 meters to 250 meters. That's an increase by a factor of 10. And since intensity decreases as the square of the distance, our intensity should decrease by a factor of 10 squared. So plugging that in, 
we'd get 1 over 10 squared times 1.0 times 10 squared would give us just 1 watt per meter squared. That's the intensity. But the question actually asks for the sound level. So we can just plug this into the equation. 10 times the logarithm of i over i0. i is 1. i0 is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 12. And the answer is 120 decibels. So this tells us that increasing the distance by a factor of 10 decreases the sound level by only 20 decibels. Remember, decibels and sound level is on a logarithmic scale. Okay, those are the basics of sound and sound intensity. I'm Mike from A3 Academy, and as always, the more you know, the better you are. Mm -hmm.